However, it might not seem like it. I know these ones. I know. Okay, stand by. Let me know when you're done there. Done. This one also okay. has a really nice flow to it, actually. <coughs> we have speed. Relative. Hey. <coughs> Mrs. Carfright? Mm -hmm. Yes. And. <laughs> Blurp picking outtake number one. I'm on the Y, Bill's on the close up of Holmes, and uh, that other guy's on the other one. And. Action? Mrs. Cartwright? Yes. That connection provided an interesting scenario. What began as a favor to Mr. Cartwright blossomed into an affair with his wife. Tuttle no doubt saw it as a golden opportunity for advancement and used his copious charms on her. Mrs. Cartwright, in turn, went to work on her husband, showering unstinting praise on Mr. Tuttle. And over a period of time, Mr. Cartwright, who thought the world of his wife, began to believe that a promotion was in order for Melvin Tuttle. The perfect scenario for murder. Husband discovers truth, takes unscheduled leave of absence, plans, and executes the crime. In another case, perhaps, but not in this one. You see, both Mr. Cartwright and Mr. Swarthmore were party to the decision to promote Tuttle. Why should Swarthmore decide in his favor? What did Tuttle have on him? What made you suspect Swarthmore? The envelopes. The envelopes? When we discovered right. that... Th that, that's all far as you need to go. Thank God. Like brain <laughs> standing here like... We test us. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we did that really well, we forgot that's it. That's the wrong thing. What about that? Stand by. We have speed. And action. Mrs. Cartwright? Yes. That connection provided an interesting scenario. What began as a favor to Mr. Cartwright blossomed into an affair with his wife. Tuttle no doubt saw it as a golden opportunity for advancement and used his copious charms on her. Mrs. Cartwright, in turn, we might as well just start again. Okay. okay. I fucked it up. Come on, there's a nail coming up. You have very strange oh, prayers. Stop tape. Stop oh, tape. So. Oh. We're seeing a boom shadow on the pistols over there. Let me take it. It's not the wild of his wife. Yes. It's not the world of his wife. Okay, Watts, could you back off just a little bit? Oh, uh, and. Oh, and uh, towards the yellow chair a little bit, Watts. There. It's, how's that now? Dead in the way of somebody, I think. Stand by. We have speed. And what's up? No, and I'm torturing Joe. I mean, uh, no. Action. Mrs. Cartwright? Yes. That connection provided an interesting scenario. What began as a favor to Mr. Cartwright blossomed into an affair with his wife. Tuttle no doubt saw it as a golden opportunity for advancement and used his copious charms on her. Mrs. Cartwright. Shit. Okay. From the same pickup, Michael? Thank you. I'll get this okay. now. Ugh. Are we ready, gentlemen? I was in another world until you stopped. Mrs. Cartwright, in turn, went to work on her husband. Thank you very much. Okay. Stand by. And. Action? Mrs. Cartwright? Yes. That connection provided an interesting scenario. What began as a favor to Mr. Cartwright blossomed into an affair with his wife. Tuttle no doubt saw it as a golden opportunity for advancement and used his copious charms on her. Mrs. Cartwright in turn went to work on her husband, showering unstinting praise on Mr. Tuttle. God damn. Sorry. Coming on sitting crazy. Over a period. Just of time. over a period of time. It's so simple. Right. Over a period of yeah, time. Yeah, I know. <coughs> Ready? Yeah. And action. Mrs. Cartwright? Yes. That connection provided an interesting scenario. Brain fart. Yeah, it's just <laughs> Cool. Okay. That connection provided an interesting Can you scenario. do any other scenes from Roger? What Rapp? began as an affair with Mrs. Cartwright. Mrs. What began as a favor to Mr. Cartwright blossomed into an affair with his wife. Tuttle no doubt saw it as golden opportunity <coughs> for advancement. Used his copious charms on her. Mrs. Cartwright, in turn, uh, went to work on her husband, showering unstinting praise on Mr. Tuttle. 
Over a period of time, oh shit, over a period of time, Mr. Cartwright, who thought the world of his wife, began to believe that a promotion was in order for Mr. Tuttle. Okay. Perfect scenario for okay. murder. Okay. Stand by. And... <clears throat> Action. Mrs. Cartwright? Yes. That connection provided an interesting scenario. What began as a favour to Mr. Cartwright blossomed into an affair with his wife. Tuttle no doubt saw it as a golden opportunity for advancement and used his copious charms on her. Mrs. Cartwright in turn went to work on her husband, showering unstinting praise on Mr. Tuttle. Over a period of time, Mr. Cartwright, who thought the world of his wife, began to believe that a promotion was in order for Melvin Tuttle. The perfect scenario for a murder. Husband discovers truth, takes unscheduled leave of absence, plans and executes the crime. In another case, perhaps, but not in this one. And not in this one either. <laughs> shit. Right. Okay, enough of the shit. Okay, from the same pickup, please. Okay. Hey. Action. Mrs. Cartwright? Yes. That connection provided an interesting scenario. What began as a favour to Mr. Cartwright blossomed into an affair with his wife. Tuttle no doubt saw it as a golden opportunity for advancement and used his copious charms on her. Mrs. Cartwright in turn went to work on her husband, showering unstinting praise on Mr. Tuttle. Over a period of time, Mr. Cartwright, who thought the world of his wife, began to believe that a promotion was in order for Melvin Tuttle. The perfect scenario for murder. Husband discovers truth, takes an unscheduled leave of absence, plans and commits the crime. In another case, perhaps, but not in this one. God damn it. Okay, it's wait, wait, anyway. wait, wait, wait. We're going to take it from in another case. <laughs> oh, dear. Stand Don't by. you want me to say the line before it correctly? Please, yeah. please do. <laughs> and action. The perfect scenario for a murder. Husband discovers truth, takes an unscheduled leave of absence, plans and executes the crime. In another case, perhaps, but not in this one. You see, both Mr. Cartwright and Mr. Swarthmore were party to the decision to promote Tuttle. Well, why should Swarthmore decide in his favour? What did Tuttle have on him? What made you first suspect Swarthmore? The envelopes. The envelopes? When we discovered uh, that... We're going to check up to there. Okay. God. This pickup is in another case, perhaps. Uh, I'll get that for you. Uh, what's the pickup, please, Mike? Yeah, well, you just asked me. I think it shows down there. In another case, perhaps? Okay. So. You've got already, already have everything in your hand, you that's right. In horn? I'm thinking for a second. You don't have to say much of it, just some of it. Plans and executes the crime. In another case, perhaps. Yeah, okay. Stand by, we have speed. It's plans and executes the crime. Action. Takes an unscheduled leave of absence, plans and executes the crime. In another case, perhaps, but not in this one. You see, both Mr. Cartwright and Mr. Swarthmore were party to the decision to promote Tuttle. Why should Swarthmore decide in his favor? What did Tuttle have on him? What made you first suspect Swarthmore? The envelopes. The envelopes? When we discovered that the China... Uh, uh, Okay, we'd like to do one more, but have Warren give the entire lead-in speech. All right. We'll get you up to speed, Warren. I'm, um, um. Stand by. And action. The perfect scenario for a murder. Husband discovers truth, takes an unscheduled leave of absence, plans and executes the crime. In another case, perhaps, but not in this one. You see, both Mr. Cartwright and Mr. Swarthmore were party to the decision to promote Tuttle. Why should Swarthmore decide in Tuttle's favor? What did Tuttle have on him? What made you first dis... <coughs> okay. My turn. We can pick it up from uh, Watson's. Okay. What did Tuttle have on him, <clears throat> please? And... Action. What did Tuttle have on him? I'm not ready. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's okay. What made you... All right, I'm sorry. Okay. And... Action. What did Tuttle have on him? What made you first suspect Swarthmore? The envelopes. The envelopes? 
When we discovered that the china berry which poisoned Tuttle was found only in traces on the lip of the cup and the stem of the pipe, and even less in the tea and the tobacco, I was particularly interested in the fact that Mr. Swarthmore personally handed the contract envelopes to Tuttle for, shall we say, final licking. A brilliant, if devious, plan. Indeed. The murder weapon, as it were, was mailed away to be consigned to the nearest waste basket. Unfortunately for Mr. Swarthmore, one was also posted locally. So I had the murderer and the method, but not the motive. By the way, Holmes, wherever did Swarthmore come by something as rare as Chinaberry? That took a little imagination. And when I discovered it, it helped me to understand the motive. That's good. Oh, oh. <coughs> that was good up to there. Good. You got just a little bit fast. Who did? Okay. Uh, you, uh, you just got going. Look. Yeah, we're going to look at it up to there. He's such a baby. Ready out here? Stand by. We have speed. Do we have a clue? Mm. Yes, we have a clue. We're mm. another case, perhaps. No. You know, picking it up? Yes. Hey. Mm. Action. We had another case, perhaps, but not in this one. You see, both Mr. Cartwright and Mr. Swarthmore were party to the decision to promote Tuttle. Why should Swarthmore decide in Tuttle's favor? What did Tuttle have on him? What made you first suspect Swarthmore? Uh, that's as far as we need to go. One more like that, okay. and action. In another case, perhaps, but not in this one. You see, both Mr. Cartwright and Mr. Swarthmore were party to the decision to promote Tuttle. Well, why should Swarthmore decide in Tuttle's favor? What did Tuttle have on him? What made you first suspect Swarthmore? That's good. That's all we need. Now, so we can pick it up as we go forward a page to the, by the way, Holmes, wherever did Swarthmore come from. Okay. Do you want to rehearse one? Do we want to do one? Do we want to... Do I you guys ready? I guess so. Yes, they would be ready. Where are we starting? Can we see our, what's our word again? By the way, Holmes. By the, uh, way. By the way, Holmes, wherever did Swarthmore come by something as rare as China? Okay. But that took a little imagination. Stand by, please. We're going to roll, and we have speed okay. and action. By the way, Holmes, wherever did Swarthmore come by something as rare as Chinaberry? That took a little imagination, and when I discovered it, it helped me to understand the. Uh, you swallowed something. Uh, I did. Little. I did. Yes. Yeah. I slept in there. Hey. I slept in there. Action. Action. Okay. Action. 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 Cedric Livingston supplied the poison. More than likely, he brought it back from one of his sailing stints in the South Seas. But why would he want to be a party to murder? Exactly. I can say it again. By the way, Holmes, where did this walk walk hmm. Where would you... Where did this walk walk uh, from the same spot, spot, please. Stand by. <clears throat> And action. By the way, Holmes, where did Swarthmore come by something as rare as Chinaberry? That took a little imagination. And when I discovered it, it helped me to understand the motive. Cedric Livingston supplied the poison. More than likely, he brought it back from one of his sailing stints in the South Seas. Why would he want to be a party to a murder? Exactly. You see, the book that Virginia Monroe supplied brought it all into the light. Mr. Swarthmore was using his power of attorney over certain trust funds to undersell land to Mr. Livingston, who in turn either kept it for his own use or had Swarthmore sell back to other trusts at a handsome profit. Which no doubt. <laughs> there, we're going to check it. <laughs> <laughs> With no doubt both of them splitting the dividends. Stand by, everybody. We have speed. Warren's left collar rolling out. Okay. Well, soon. Thank you. Good eye, Lee. Thank you. Hey. <coughs> <All right. coughs> and action. For a handsome profit. With, no doubt, both of them splitting the dividends. No doubt. 
Tuttle evidently discovered the scheme, confronted Swarthmore and was paid off with a promotion. Clearly, Swarthmore and Livingston could not live with the knowledge that Tuttle had unearthed their plot. So, Swarthmore murdered him. And just as the young cad had turned serious and finally found true love. Yes, Watson. Love doth teach even asses to dance. Well said. May I quote you on that, Holmes? Indeed, Watson. Okay. Indeed. That's as far yeah, as we need to go. Fuck the line up Just as the young... Okay, gentlemen. We're going to do this. Stand by. Ready when you are, Mike. And just as so, the homie, you don't go to that position until after the word dance. Got it. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Ready out here. Stand by, we have speed. And action. And just as the young cat had finally turned serious and found true love. Yes, Watson. Love does teach even asses to dance. Well said. May I quote you, Holmes? Indeed, Watson. Indeed. What was the exploding audio in that? You hearing all that, Jim? He's not going to get you on your mark one more time so you can just refresh. Yeah. And I uh, warn you to be enjoying the music again there at the end because there's going to be about a five second finish All right. that you're listening to. Thank you. Ah! Can we have just Warren just... move to his left or does sure. that mess up other shots? Put him where you want him. Put him where you want him. To your left, Warren. Uh, this left. There you go. A little bit yeah, too much. Back to your right. All that. Does that work? Yes. Okay. And that's okay back on your, your violin? And that's cool on the violin? Okay, we're uh, back to your first position, please. Uh, Peter. Thank you. Stand by. Um, stop. Can I, Joe, have Peter just sneak to his this way a little bit? Yeah, for this here, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, that works great. Thank you, that works. Thank <clears> you, boys. <throat> the violin should be down to start, Peter. Thank you. Stand by and action. And just as the young cat had finally turned, fuck. A action. And just as the young cat had finally turned serious and found true love. Yes, Watson. Love doth teach even asses to dance. Well said. May I quote you, Holmes? Indeed, Watson, indeed. Okay, we'd like to do one more thing. Was looking good, but we saw some dust in the close up. Joe, what we got? Noise in the garage. I, I can't tell. Big time. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, just a second. We got somebody uh, rolling. Okay. And Peter, could, uh, the violin will be down. And could you move to your uh, that way, please? One more. Oh, right there. Good. Stand by. And. Action. And just as the young cat finally turned serious and found true love. Yes, Watson. Love doth teach even asses to dance. Well said. May I quote you, Holmes? Indeed, Watson, indeed. Okay, uh, were you off your mark just a little oh, bit? Oh, shit, I came forward. You're right. Yeah, you I'm sorry. Is that okay, it? Okay, oh, place, please. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah well, oh, fuck. <laughs> Stand by, please. Violins down. What a twit. Uh, move a little bit to your back. Of the, there, thank you. And <clears throat> action. And just as the young cad finally turned serious and found true love. Yes, Watson. Love doth teach even asses to dance. Well said. May I quote you, Holmes? Indeed, Watson, indeed. Okay, uh, Peter. Yeah. I'm we need you to start here. moving right on that last word. Okay. Dance. The dance. dance. You're out of here. Go. On the dance. Cha cha cha. Oh, oh, cha cha on the okay. dance. Okay. Stand by, everybody. I'm, hearing, I'm hearing him. Oh, Mike. Yeah, it's coming over a headset. Tell him to stop that right now, please. No. Well, he's hearing Mike over a headset. Now. Bill's headset is wide open. Yeah. Oh. We hear everything yeah, Mike okay. says. Yeah. One moment. We're trying to get people to find out how back. Stand by. And 
Action. And just as the young cat right. finally. Uh, Objectively, oh, there you go. Yeah. One more of those. Thank you. And action. And just as the young cat finally turned serious and found true love. Yes, Watson. Love doth teach even asses to dance. Well said. May I quote you, Holmes? Indeed, Watson, indeed. Stand by, everybody. We you have speed. need to back out if you're coming off of my camera. You need to back out the stride. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Stand by. Uh, light, shadow, yes. background. Yes. Um. Could you guys? I can. Lestrade. I can mm -hmm. raise the light. Could up. you guys come right over to the edge of the table? Go on. Go on. Okay, there we go. Stand by. And. Action. I believe the inspector has an interesting case for us, Holmes. I told you, I am tormented by a migraine and I need to take my cure. <clears throat> I'll take but a moment of your time, Mr. Holmes. Go on then, but make a stab at the essence, please. All right. A Mr. Melvin Tuttle, a junior partner with the firm of Sloan, Swarthmore and Cartwright, was found dead of a heart attack yesterday. We suspect it was poison. Oh, yes. Sloan, Swarthmore and Cartwright is one of the most prestigious law firms in London. Pray let him continue, Watson. You may be interested to know that I did speak to the partners. Sir so Sidney Sloan, who never arrives before noon, uh, and uh, Mr. Swarthmore was at the uh, morning appointment at Bell's Baths. And curiously enough, Mr. Cartwright had an unscheduled and... Uh, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't you just, just keep going from there. We want to see this for lighting. Please. Okay. Uh, curiously enough, Mr. Cartwright began an unscheduled and indefinite leave of absence just two days ago. My temples are splitting, Inspector. Motive. <clears throat> Another solicitor by the name of Harold Diggs was passed over for promotion three months ago. The position went to Mr. Tuttle. Diggs felt he was far more qualified and uh, then resigned. Ah, yes. The jealous colleague. A certainly a motive for murder. Is there anything else, Inspector? I'd suggest picking up a copy of the Morning Times. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, and uh, I do have the contents of Tuttle's desk at my uh, office at the yard. Thank you, Inspector. Now, if I may work on my recovery in peace. I'm sorry, I'll do that. Okay. Shit. We can do that better. Stand by. We have speed and action. I believe the inspector may have an interesting case for us, Holmes. I told you, Watson, I am tormented by a migraine and I need to take my cure. I'll take only a moment of your time, Mr. Holmes. Go on then, but make a stab at the essence, please. All right. A Mr. Melvin Tuttle, a junior partner at the law firm of uh, Sloan, Swarthmore and Cartwright, dropped dead of a heart attack yesterday. We suspect it was poison. Oh, yes. Sloan, Swarthmore and Cartwright is one of the most prestigious law firms in London. Uh, pray let him continue, Watson. Uh, you may want to know that I have spoken to the partners. Uh, Sir Sidney Sloan said he never arrives before noon. Mr. Swarthmore was at his morning appointment at Bell's Baths, and, uh, curiously enough, Mr. Cartwright began an unscheduled and indefinite leave of absence just the other day. My, my temples are splitting, Inspector. Motive. Uh, another solicitor by the name of Harold Diggs was passed over for a promotion three months ago. The position went to Mr. Tuttle. Diggs felt he was far more qualified, and so he resigned. Ah, the jealous colleague. Certainly a motive for murder. Is there anything else, Inspector? I would suggest picking up a copy of the Morning Times. Oh. 
Oh, and if you're interested, I've got the uh, contents of Tuttle's desk at my office at the yard. Thank you, Inspector. Now, if I may work on my recovery in peace. Okay. You guys chill. We're going to look at it. Let's see, what it, see how the lighting looks. Stand by, everybody. We have... Oh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Are we ready, Michael? <coughs> okay. Stand by. We have speed. And. Chair. Apple. No, that's the leg of the table. And. Action. I believe the inspector may have an interesting case for us, Holmes. I told you, I am tormented by a migraine and I need to take my cure. I'll take but a moment of your time, Miss Rose. Oh. Go on then, but make a stab at the essence, please. All right. A Mr. Melvin Tuttle, a junior partner with the firm of uh, Sloan, Swarthmore and Cartwright, dropped dead of a heart attack yesterday. Oh. We suspect it was poison. Oh yes, Sloan, Swarthmore and Cartwright is one of the most prestigious law firms in London. Pray let him continue, Watson. Uh, you might want to know that I have spoken to the partners. Uh, Sir Sidney Sloan says he never arrives before noon. Mr. Swarthmore was at his morning appointment at Bell's Baths, and uh, curiously enough, Mr. Cartwright began an unscheduled and extended leave of absence just two days before. My temples are splitting, Inspector. Motive. <clears throat> Another solicitor by the name of Harold Diggs was passed over for promotion uh, three months ago. The uh, position went to Melvin Tuttle. Diggs felt he was far more qualified and then resigned. Ah, yes. The jealous colleague. Certainly a motive for murder. Is there anything else, Inspector? I would suggest picking up a copy of the Morning Times. Thank you, Inspector. Oh, and now, if, if you're I may interested, work on my... oh. uh, I have the contents of Tuttle's desk at my office in the yard. Well, I guess we'll do that again. Oh, sorry. Where did we go wrong? What's wrong? Your uh, belt is coming out. Yeah, I know. I did that. Still rolling, Tom? My collar's turned. Shut up. One side of the bow is bigger. <laughs> Wasn't the bow tie okay. the other direction last time? Stand by, everybody. Let's, let's get it. And action. I believe the inspector may have an interesting case for us, Holmes. I told you, I am tormented by a migraine and I need to take my cure. Well, I'll take but a moment of your time, Mr. Holmes. Go on, then, but make a stab at the essence, please. All right. A Mr. Melvin Tuttle, a junior partner at the firm of uh, Sloan, Swarthmore and Cartwright, dropped dead of a heart attack yesterday. We suspect it was poison. Oh, yes. Sloan, Swarthmore and Cartwright is one of the most prestigious law firms in London. Pray let him continue, Watson. You may want to know that I have spoken to the partners. Sir Sidney Sloan says he never uh, gets to the office before noon. Mr. Cartwright... Sorry. That's okay. We've been doing okay. This will be from the head end again. Right. Okay, we're going to just do a quick tape change, John. Would you throw some tone, please? Quick tape change. <laughs>